Hey, Vanner Fanner family, we're doing a little project in Mona. Today's video is sponsored by Nomad Internet. Check them out online and use discount coupon CrystalVanner25. Please be reminded this channel does not produce content for children. Okay, I was already in the midst of this project and I was like, Ugh, I should probably be recording this. <laughs> So I bought this on Amazon. It's a flexible curtain track because where um, the, the rod that I was using for my curtain up here uh, was not allowing my curtain to smoothly open and close behind the two front seats, my black curtain. So I have already cut the rod to the appropriate size and I've already installed the brackets up and I'll show you exactly where those are being installed. They're being installed up on the loft area because that's where this track is going to live because the curtains are right behind the seats and the loft is like ends right behind the seats. So let me show you that. Okay, here's my loft. Um, this is the tray on the loft that's supposed to slide out to make the loft a bed. But as you know, I'm not using that as a bed. So right now I've installed four of these brackets which the track will snap into. And the seat is right here. The loft is right here above it. So I'll be able to slide my black curtains when I am closing up for the night. Slide that. Or when I just want privacy in the back, slide that much easier. It'll be a quicker transition. It will uh, function much, much better for me. So I'm going to tilt you down right now. I'm going to show you what came in the packet as far as what you're supposed to use on the track. But I've decided to do something else because I didn't want to make holes in my curtain to make those things work. <clears throat> okay, here are the little sliders that go on the track. As you can see, I've added mine already. And I'm doing 15, even though I think 15 might be too many, but I might be adding two more panels of curtains. And so I wanted to put more than I needed on there. So this is the track that, um, this is the, it has wheels so that it slides nicely on the track. And then it has this little metal piece that you're supposed to attach. You're supposed to attach these to it and then you hang your curtain through here. I didn't want to make holes in my curtain. I didn't want to have to get the grommets set out and make grommets. And then that leaves a big gap where light could come through. I wanted to mount this as high up to the track as possible. So I picked up a big old pack of these clips. They're called um, steel curtain clips with S hook gutter clip. I will try and link it below. Bought them on Amazon. I believe there's a hundred in here and they were pretty cheap. So what it is, it's a clip on one end so I can clip the curtain. And then it has a little circle end on the other. And all I'm doing is opening up the circle and slipping it on. So I'll do one now so you can see. So I'm just taking my needle nose pliers. So you just open it a little bit. Slip it on. And then I'm taking the same needle nose pliers and closing it back up so it's tight and it doesn't slide off in the process of sliding. So this will be on the track. This will slide back and forth. The curtain is clipped here. So see how much smaller the gap is? This is the original hook and the curtain would be down here. Now the curtain is clipped up higher. So it's almost a quarter of an inch higher. So I'm gonna continue to do that. Then I will show you how to clip this rack, this tray, um, track onto the little holders that I've drilled into the top. Show you how that snaps into place. Then I'll show you the curtains clipped on. All right, you'll see me snap it into this one. I'm gonna take that cracked in and start on this side. So I have four brackets up here total. And I'm gonna snap this first one in. There we go. 
All right, so hopefully you can see this. What happens is there's a little lip here. You take it and you put it in those two little lips and then you press and then it just snaps. Hopefully. <laughs> Okay, that one doesn't want to do it. <sighs> ah, and I see why. I see why it's not doing it. There we go. Ooh. Okay. So put it in, and then you snap it. And I see why it's not really working. I'll explain it in a second. If you look right here, I've got this piece of metal, which is the slider. So I'm gonna have to loosen this a little bit to accommodate for that little extra space. That is refusing to budge. Refusing to budge. There's the little plate that moves back. but It is refusing to move for me. All right, I'm take my pliers and we're gonna move that plate back. And we're going to push this into place. And we're going to force it closed. Oh, we got it. Yay. Whew. All right. Oh, that was a workout. All right. Got it. Okay. Now... My curtain was still in place from earlier, so I'm just gonna clip it on, one on each end, and then we can space out the others. Nice. And because I have, um, And because I have this piece of um, the loft that drops down, that gives me a little gap there. So it's actually quite good. I'm happy with that. And my curtains slide much smoother. So let's get this other curtain up. So now we've got one curtain. Two curtain. behind my seats all closed off sweet and that sliding them over gives me open space if I want to sit in my seat that I've turned around I have a swivel on both seats because this is an RV this gives me open space with no curtain hanging on this side in my face so there we go new curtain on a track all set up ready to go and I have more track left it's outside right now because that's where I cut it Thanks for your support. Thanks for being a part of the journey and the family. Don't forget to be good to yourself, be kind to others, and whatever you're doing, I hope you're enjoying it.